The violence, terror, war displaced, you know, something like over 5 million people in Iraq and over 9 million in Syria. Yesterday, while listening to the representative of the Yazidi community during, you know, the brainstorming on social cohesion, I really, you know, heard and preserved, you know, preciously what he expresses his fear while, you know, imagining that tomorrow he will have to go back home and who will assure peace and security to the five million in Iraq and over nine million in Syria while going back home after having been displaced. Obviously, I'm very pleased here in the Kaisit Center and with all of you having heard, you know, very encouraging words, you know, supporting dialogue and national reconciliation. But these are very long-term processes. As a long-term process is also tackling, you know, the root causes, the fuel, radicalism, terror, and violence. I just would like to mention few, poverty, isolation, disenfranchisement, corruption, violence, coercion, and lack of political representation. Religion, institution, and civil society have a key role in diffusing sectarian tensions, building trust, and educating the future generation of citizens in ever-increasing multicultural societies. The United Nations Department of Political Affairs, the one I represent today, is working with civil society in Syria to ensure that their voices are heard in the peace process. Ultimately, we all aim to create a profound and sustained engagement by the United Nations with Syrian civil society, especially the voice of, who, of those who are often excluded, such as women, youth, displaced persons, and minorities. As part of this effort, and stemming from meetings in the sidelines of the General Assembly in 2013, United, women, United Nations women and the government of Netherlands, in close cooperation with DPA and the Office of the Joint Special Representative for Syria, held several meetings of Syrian women and civil society representatives. The meetings resulted in the Syrian Women Development and Outcome Document with concrete recommendations for the political process and launched the group of the Syrian Women's Initiative for Peace and Democracy with a dedicated follow-up committee. The groups continue to meet and has to come up with an action plan to spread its message. As part of this action plan, these women are pursuing a social media network plan that includes a social media component to counter sectarian and push the parties to the negotiating table. In Iraq, we equally have strong concerns about the protection of civilians, in particular, but not exclusively, of religious minorities. While DPA and the Special Political Mission in Iraq, UNAMI, is unable to provide itself physical protection for civilians, it works to prevent and halt tensions and violence, as well as to safeguard and promote respect for cultural and religious diversities in, multi in, in multiple ways. DPA is advocating actively for the, for the promotion and protection of the diverse fabric of Iraqi society by condemning ISIL's actions and reminding all parties of the legal obligation to protect citizens in areas under their control, regardless of their religion, community, or ethnic affiliation. As laid down in international law, they must all prevent or counter incitement to violence along ethnic or religious lines. And in this uh, respect, DPA works closely with all UN actors active in Iraq in order to prioritize support for social cohesion. Sam is here also as representative of UNDP, and we work hand in hand in order to strengthen social ties and reinforce the social cohesion in Iraq. The Secretary General also issued several statements in this regard. I would like just to mention the ones you know, concerning the fall of Mosul, but also the protection of the Yazidis in the Sinjar Mountains last summer. On the grounds, UNAMI also continued to sponsor meetings and conferences promoting protection and respect for the rights of all in Iraq. And that tries to bring on a constant, you know, a consistent ways all members of the different communities of Iraq together. UNAMI facilitates also interreligious dialogue, which brings together representatives of various religious groups 
to identify commonalities and to enhance respect, acceptance and understanding among all. With the same objective, it helps raising the awareness and the building of civil society capacities and the development of uh, um, networks among people. Since I had to be very brief, I jump you know, to what I think is also one of the most important you know, uh, activities that the uh, United Nations you know, um, supports in uh, Iraq. And this is what you know, OCHA, DPA, a UNHCR engage in operational work on the ground, including assisting IDPs. A close partner to CAICID, the two agreed an MOU in May 2014, UNESCO also helps protect cultural diversity in Iraq and Syria and will, help, help, will host a high-level conference on heritage and cultural diversity at risk in Iraq and Syria in Paris next month. In conclusion, it is vi vital that all of us in this room and outside it continue to work together to diffuse the sectarian tensions, build trust, and educate younger generations to dialogue, acceptance of the other, and respect of diversities. The power of social media to spread this message is obviously recognized by all, but a meaningful long-term solution to the root causes of violence, radicalism, and terror is more than ever required. Ashkurkum ala intibaikum oela liqa ankarib. Maasalaam.